Hi everybody, this is Dr. Hart and I have a short message for you to clue you in on some procedures that I'd like you to use for the assignment starting with Unit 7 and going forward for the remainder of the course. I have attached along with this message a sample cover page for an assignment. Now the assignment uh, happens to be for ED 7662 but the same format should be used for uh, any of the other courses that I'm teaching. The idea is when you open up this uh, sample co cover page you're going to see that on the cover page is the scoring guide for uh, this particular assignment. In this case it's the final uh, project for ED 7662, the design course. You'll notice that I've uh, simply copied uh, and pasted uh, the wording of the different criteria for the scoring guide into a table and that's in the left hand column and then in the right hand column I've put in some scores and uh, so if you were a student who had completed this assignment and had put the scoring guide in the front of the assignment you would have scored yourself with some threes and twos as you can see on the sample scoring guide the idea here is that I'd like all of you to copy and paste the scoring guide for all assignments starting with Unit 7 for the assignments that you're submitting in the courses. So in um, Unit 7, in 7662, you're going to be submitting the quick reference guide. In uh, the evaluation course, you're going to be submitting some other assignments and in uh, 7672, I'm not sure if there's an assignment in week 7, uh, just offhand. But the idea is that for each assignment that you submit, you should copy and paste the appropriate scoring guide onto the, the cover page of the assignment and indicate your own ratings for that assignment. Now, the idea, there are a couple of reasons for this. First of all, just from a practical standpoint, this is a self-check for you to ensure that you've covered all of the requirements of the assignments and um, that uh, those, are, those are contained in the assignment. The other reason is it's a very effective learning and teaching tool because here you really are disciplining yourself to really look at that scoring guide and really think and reflect on whether you've really fulfilled the requirements of that assignment. So there are some very good reasons for doing this. It's a very powerful tool for helping to encourage your own self-directed learning. So um, as I said, starting in Unit 7 and going forward through the final assignments of all of the courses that I'm teaching, I want you to copy and paste the scoring guide for the assignments onto the front page of the assignments that you're submitting indicating what your ratings are. Now uh, one thing too is um, uh, I don't I want you to be honest about these ratings and uh, I, you're not going to be marked down if you say give yourself a three pardon me give yourself a two uh, on a criteria that has a high uh, point of three. Uh, I'm going to be taking these ratings into account but I'm not going to be following them to the, to the letter. I'll be giving you the score that you deserve, but the idea is here to give you a ch chance to really do a self-check on your own work. So uh, once again, take a look at the example that I've attached along with this YouTube message, and uh, then go ahead and starting with Unit 7, uh, include the scoring guide for the assignments that you're going to be submitting. Thanks very much.